What's up, fish fools? Jeff here. So this is my 3.5 gallon Neo Caradina shrimp tank. And today I am moving some guppies into it. As you can see, I have two bags floating. Each of them has a guppy in it. Juvenile or more like fry. So here on the left, you can see it right here. That is from my 10 gallon Guppy and Endler hybrid tank. So this is one that was born in my breeder box. Recently I let some guppies or guppy and then their hybrids give birth in a breeder box. Tried that, doing that for the first time, and this is one of the offspring that was born in that tank. And I believe it's a female. Both of these are females, I'm pretty sure. What I wanted to do was put, put virgin females in here. So I can't really see from this angle, but I believe there is a bit of a gravid spot. And you know, when guppies are, before they color up and before the males develop gonopodiums, the females will develop a bit of a gravid spot. You can kind of see a little bit right there. And that's the first way you can sex them and distinguish the difference between males and females. And then over here, this I believe is also a female. can see a little bit of a, a gravid spot. So maybe harder, I mean, it, it is really slight. It's harder to see what this one is under the light with the glare. I think you can see a little bit of a gravid spot there. Like I know, like back in the, when I used to keep fish, you know, I got got back into the fish keeping hobby last year around July 2017 but years before that I kept fish and I always thought that the gravid spots meant they were pregnant but they will even before they're pregnant when they're still virgins and they're still young they will develop those gravid spots they just get bigger and fatter and they're, you know, if they're in tanks with males, they're pretty much always going to be pregnant, but these two would be virgins. So this one, as I was about to say, is a wild guppy or a common guppy or sold as a feeder guppy. So this is one I took out of my um, my tank that I'm have feeder guppies in that is supposed to be my quarantine tank, but it's full of like the common guppies I haven't had I have in there have had a bunch of babies, and I just pointed that out yesterday. And a video that I showed yesterday showed a bunch of fry that I had in there, and I mentioned that I was. You know, the reason why I made that video was showing all that fry because I didn't know if the, would, I would still have that many fry because I was planning on going to my local fish store today to possibly get some more fish that I would put in there that might eat them, but that didn't happen. Um, I wasn't able to make it there in time before they closed. Well, I actually could have, but I mean... 
when I do go, I want to, you know, I want to hang out for a while. I want to go up and up and down the aisles and check out all the fish. And but I would have been a I probably could have gotten there just before they closed, and I didn't want to be rushed, so I'm just gonna maybe wait till next week and go. So instead of what I thought I might make a video showing new fish. I thought since I wasn't doing that, that that would give me the chance to move some fish into here. I've been talking about doing this. So it's, I finally like had the chance to do that tonight. Cause the plan is I want to have one each of these females in here, and then I'm going to put one of the Guppy and Endler hybrid males, one that looks more like a black bar pattern in colors for my 10 gallon tank. And then with the wild guppy thrown in, see what kind of mix that can produce an offspring. So here's the females while they're virgins and then at some point I will select a male to join them and see if they can produce some babies. So right now there are no other fish in here other than pygmy corridors and I'm not even sure how many there are. I did have four, but I haven't seen all four in a while. I don't see them swimming around as much. I mean, it's possible some could have died, but there's a lot of this subwasser tang that they could be hiding in. But there's lots of shrimp. Shrimp all over the place. Started with eight shrimp, eight adults, and now there's probably 50 or so shrimp in here. But yeah, so I'm finally gonna start attempting to do some funky hybrid crossbreeding and see what kind of babies this wild guppy can produce with a cross with an endler or I guess it would be half and likely to be half endler half guppy and then their offspring will be a quarter endler and three quarters guppy It'll add wild guppy genes to it. So that'll be a little ways from now because these still have to mature into adulthood and then add the male in here and then give them a month or so gestation period. And then we'll have some babies and then We'll have to give those some time to color up to see how funky they look. But yeah, well, this is the start of that. All right, and that's it for now. And remember, I'm Jeff, and I enjoy fishies. Thanks for watching.